photosynthesis. In the previous section of cellular respiration, we talked about the glucose molecule, which had to store energy to be released during the series of reactions. How is this glucose molecule trapping the energy? Photosynthesis is the process where solar energy is used in series of reactions which are very complex to be stored in a glucose molecule. Prior to the presence of oxygen in the atmosphere, there were some reactions that stored energy in other molecules. The energy stored in these molecules were not as abundant. With the release of oxygen in the atmosphere, some favorable conditions helped the process of photosynthesis to be evolved. Solar dependency results in dividing all organisms in three main groups. Autotrophs are organisms that can make its own energy molecule. These are green plants and bacterial cells that have chlorophyll. Heterotrophs are organisms that get their energy from eating plants and smaller animals. Photoautotrophs that store these energy using the sun. This is, is divided into stages, a series of reactions that depend on the light and another set of reactions that are light independent. The equation for photosynthesis indicates carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water is used to make a sugar molecule and oxygen as a byproduct. The process of photophosphorylation refers to a series of reactions in which light energy is trapped in ATP and another kind of carrier molecule called as NADPA. What is light? We do know that sunlight provides the source of this energy. Sunlight comes in two ways as it travels as waves and secondly as packets of energy called as photons. Visible light has a wide range of spectrum. Green leaves absorb all other light waves besides green reflects that the green range of energy and hence appears green. Photosynthesis takes place in the chlorophyll, which are present in chloroplast. These pigments of chlorophyll absorb the packets of photons of solar energy. Photons not captured result in the color of green. There are numerous kinds of pigments that absorb the photon. Chlorophyll A is the main photosynthetic pigment and it absorbs red and violet wavelength. Chlorophyll B and other pigments absorb additional wavelength. Collectively, all of these pigments help absorb the maximum solar energy. When reactions take place in the grana of thylakoids, which are present within the chloroplast, cells on the surface of leaves carry out maximum photosynthesis. Photosystems within the light independent reactions. Photosystems are a series of reactions that pull electrons from water and then release them. These electrons are then trapped into forming ATP and NADPH. Oxygen is released during these series of reactions and that leaves the cell. In the second state of photosynthesis, called as the light independent reaction, we see another cyclic process. During this cycle, an enzyme called as Rubisco attaches the carbon from carbon dioxide to form glucose molecule. There's a lot of rearrangement of the molecule to eventually form the sugar molecule. As seen from the cycle, ATP, hydrogen, and electron products from the light-dependent reactions are used within the cycle. The glucose molecules can then be stored as starch, cellulose, or sucrose. Now, there are some plants that are present in extreme conditions, such as lack of oxygen in the environment, or less water available, or growing in hot conditions. These plants have an alternative pathway called as CAM pathway. In these alternative pathways, they are able to utilize carbon dioxide at night. Since these plants grow in hot conditions, they keep their openings called astomeras closed during the daylight hours.
photoautotrophs utilize environmental carbon dioxide. Human disruption is changing the balance of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, also resulting in resulting as the global warming.